All right, this is Ricky and the covered wagon bus. How you doing, Ricky? I'm doing good. All right. What year is this bus? 1973 Chevrolet Thomas. 1973 Chevy Thomas. It sure does look nice. Did you paint this all yourself? Yep. Let's have a quick look at the paint job here. First time I saw this bus, I thought it had a vinyl wrap on it. But this is all airbrush paint all the way down here. Looks super nice. Put the door in for the wheelchair. Put a lift in it. Bruno lift. Big storage compartment on the bottom with an O-Nan generator. I like 110 power. <laughs> <laughs> now, when you bought this bus, uh, what kind of drivetrain did it have in it? Had a Chevrolet 350 with a manual four-speed, and I changed it out to a 454 automatic with automatic column and everything. I changed every bit of it out, so uh, it's got a lot more power now that it likes gas. Yeah, I bet it does. <laughs> but it does good, so you know I ain't complaining. It gets me from point A to point B. <laughs> and you've had this bus for how long now? Since March the 6th. And it's currently November. Yeah. So yeah, that's a pretty quick turnaround yeah. to get this thing done. So you see over here, you've got a slide out awning. It's pretty nice, gives you a good shaded area. Uh, you've got some power outlets on the side there. Uh, why don't you show off this undercarriage? Well, it used to be a Tennessee high school band bus, so they carried up under here. The only thing I've done different is added the whole new generator to uh, all my chairs and table and all that under their box. Yeah, that goes all the way back to the to the wheel. There. Back to the wheel. Yeah, that's nice. It's bigger than it looks. And how many watts is this generator good for? Four thousand. Four thousand. It's pretty uh, good. Constant run, but it. I don't know what it goes up to start up. But it's yeah. More than that, so. Sure. The window skirts on it, so it makes it look like it's going fast. Yeah. <laughs> did you do those, or did those come like that? They come like that. Them come on band buses and church buses. Uh -huh. That's what they come on. Like. It's one of a kind. Man. Yeah. <laughs> And this door here, you added this door yourself. Yeah, to bring my power chair in and out. So got the Bruno lift in there to lift it in and out. So right. It works pretty good. It yeah. serves its purpose. At least I don't have to use the wheelchair that much anymore. <laughs> but, uh, well, let's go check out the other side. There's something interesting over there. So here's something you don't see on school buses is a slide out. And that's getting you, what is that, about two feet? It's three foot. Three foot? By six foot. All right. Have extra space on the inside. Have a look at this. Now, when you pull it out, do you use that handle? No, I've got a 12 volt electric motor. I rigged up a cable system to slide it in. I was using that till I put the, the 12 volt cable system on it. So now you just push a button? Yeah, push a button, it goes out, push the same button, it goes back in. All right. right. And then got All right. The, so you got a rooftop air, air yeah. and a vent. That's for the gas electric refrigerator. All right. That's what the bottom vent's for to access it. And then old school tires on there yeah but uh well they fiberglass. say new pride right on the side yeah well, old school uh, new pride yeah spare tire right here spare, spare tire i always have to have something like that. <laughs> but i got a six foot garage most people don't have them that big but yeah and it's messy in there of course but yeah so you got some chains and some straps steps and, yeah to pop out to get into it and you got air compressor, see water hose, well, grinder, welder, all kinds of tools, all kinds of painting equipment. Yep. And 
drill press. Yeah. Got all kinds of good stuff in there. Come around to the back. So this one, when you bought it, had a back door? No. Nope. Did not have a back, back door? door no. Okay. Now these, these type buses did not have a back door. They had it on the side for safety reasons. And of course I just added that vent right there. I've got yeah. to finish it, so. And you just painted the name of the bus on this, yesterday. this week. Yeah. Right? Yesterday, yeah. Yeah. Been wanting to do that for six months. Finally <laughs> got around to it. Yeah. So. Yeah, you got trailer hitch down there. Yeah. Well, I probably wouldn't use it. <laughs> heavy though. Yeah. Uh, Let's have a look inside. All right. Yeah. yeah. It's got a nice pop out front step here, first step here. <laughs> All right. You got hand controls. Yeah, and they're out there real steering. bad. And the feet so late and even I have to use the hand controls to drive. Uh, got the backup camera, which I use it for rear view. Right. Seven inch, so uh, that's my rear view mirror going down the road in the daytime and nighttime too. So they got a big got the, television up here above the windshield. Yeah. Storage compartment for yeah. the movies and curtains and flags. And, right. Uh, DVD player right there under it. You don't see a lot of buses this old it's got a very different instrument panel and switch panel than i'm used to seeing and i added a bunch of those for like the backup camera my slide out and all that so right and they're the same switches that i had so most everything in here is repurposed the only thing new is the dog-eared fence board you know uh, but everything else is repurposed a lot of room in here with slide out. <laughs> oh, there you go. All right, and over here we've got the area that slides out. So we've got a nice kind of enclosed sofa area. The futon that lets into a bed. Okay, so it does fold out and fold yeah. down. Yeah. And the power above it. Roof mount here, and all of my bus lights has been converted over with a switch for 12 volt LED lights too. And uh, dog eared fence board, all the stuff done with dog eared fence board. Yeah. And I bought an old camper to get the air conditioner, sink, stove, refrigerator, toilet, and tub out of. So that all worked out really well. Saved a lot of money. <laughs> but uh, got the well, drinking water in the boot thing. Too. Yeah. Stove. Water stove, sink, coaster, coaster oven. oven. Got to have the coffee pot. Got to have the coffee pot. My son's been in here eating, so. <laughs> Messy Marvin, you call Yeah. But my door, a little bit of privacy in the back. But yeah. the duct work keeps the air going back there. So I like my privacy. My right. thing is, when I built this, I wanted a full bathroom. Let me step over here and let you sure. go through. Yeah. Alright, so in here we've got bathroom, shower, got sink, toilet. Sit down shower yeah, tub. Sit down shower tub. Uh, is that a propane heater? Yep, propane heater, three brick, one brick heats the whole bus easy in cold weather. Yeah. So, uh, another privacy curtain just in case for the bedroom and bathroom. But, yeah. And uh, one of them Alabama ceiling fans in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, you got ceiling fan, you've got a shelf in a U-shape going all the way around in the bedroom. Uh, self-supporting uh, the way I paid it. Too. Yeah, self-supporting. 
Got some lamps. You got another television. Roof stickers. Looks like you're looking outside yeah. at night. <laughs> yep. So, I mean, it ain't nothing special, but it fits me. <laughs> yeah, and you've got storage underneath the bed? Yep. Big access from the garage. Access the from the garage? Yep. Okay. 60 gallon water tank, uh, batteries, uh, uh, extra electrical water heater, and all that stuff. Good deal. A place to hang your hat. Yep, that's where it goes, mate. It goes there. <laughs> <laughs> but the weather's good here, so all I'm running is a fan with the door open. So yeah. The door, so it does great. Yeah, it makes a huge difference. I'm one of the only ones that probably got carpet that much because neuropathy in my feet, I need carpets that hardwood put my feet on. Mm -hmm. so, uh, but it ain't nothing special, but it's mine. Ain't, ain't nothing like it. Another one like it, that's for yeah, sure. <laughs> that's for sure. I had to sit down a minute. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Pull out a chair, too. It's, uh, not the first video I've ever done. Somebody else operating the camera and talking to <laughs> <laughs> So what made you decide you wanted to build a bus? I've been wanting to build a bus for a while, but in March I went to the Tiny House Festival, and then I figured out what size of bus I wanted. But I knew I wanted a garage, big garage in the back because I airbrush for children's hospitals, uh, non-profit. So I wanted one big enough to have nice living quarters in and be able to airbrush and, and, you know, out of the back. So it worked out perfect this size and it worked out perfect. Plus, I wanted an old bus to convert. I didn't want a new one. So uh, there you go. And it's, I don't think it's that big of a deal, but a lot of people like it. So I do too, though. <laughs> Yeah, well, you definitely got a lot done in a small amount of time. Oh, yeah. And I've been on trips in it, too. I went for one month in Florida, about a month after I had it. And, uh, and then, of course, I changed the motor and the transmission, the rear chunk, uh, tires, painted it, converted it, and then slide out. And just one thing after the other. The next thing's going to be a deck on the roof with an elevator. Yeah. So, That'll be fun. Yeah. So how many events have you been to with it? I went to Tennessee Tiny House Festival with this. I went to the VFW at home and here at uh, Jessup, Georgia, which is 450 miles down here. So I really got to try it out good coming down here and it done great. So uh, I've got to leave today going home, of course, but uh, I hate it. I'd like to stay longer, but you know, things happen you can't get to. <laughs> yeah. Marty guy stuff ready to go. <laughs> but after I get everything loaded up, and then my son make him load it all up. <laughs> Sounds yeah, like a plan. It's been fun. It's been real fun. So, uh, so are you planning to do a full time? Well, I live in this bus full time anyway, but uh, uh, I just don't travel all over full time. I, I've got a place in Alabama I live at. My, my house is paid for, my wife and kids live in there, and I live in the bus in my own yard. <laughs> I know it's strange, but still, it works good for me. Is your plan that you want to do more traveling? traveling? Oh, yes, oh, yes. Next month, I'll go to Orlando, and then in February, I'll go to Ocala, uh, to the Schooly Swarm in Ocala, Tiny House Festival in Orlando next month. Uh, so, then whatever else comes next. Georgia Tiny House Festival, uh, then Tennessee again, just other things. But I've got to go to Tampa next month too, the airbrush at Shriners Hospital in Tampa. So, uh, got, a, got a little bit planned already. Of course, you live on Social Security, you have to plan it really good. Right, <laughs> right. So. so, what do you think about school buses versus vans or RVs or box trucks? What made you decide you wanted to get a school bus? with a school bus you can build it like you want it and it's going to last forever you don't have to worry about the little thin wood walls falling apart you know and uh, you know get them when they ain't got rust in it and, you know you last forever the campers don't last that long you know uh, they're little staples putting them together these got screws holding it together so you know uh, and to each his own but I wouldn't have a camper anymore after I got this uh, what do you think about vans? Well, I like vans. I got one. <laughs> it, but that's to, to each his own, you know. Uh, uh, 
if I didn't need the garage, I'd still be using my van. But I need the garage, a little bigger living space, I need the full bathroom. That's the big thing, and you know? so, uh, and then, you know, box trucks are good, but, you know, ever to, like I say, to each his own. Uh, and I just like the school bus. <laughs> This is not good on gas, but I don't care. If it gets me up and down the road. You know. I'll probably do a little changing on that to try to get better fuel mileage. But yeah, for right now, it's going to run like it is. <laughs> so, what do you think about the schooly community? Oh, this is unreal. I tell you what, I'm so glad when I found this. Uh, it's like one big happy family that's. Uh, we don't have to worry about the riffraff hanging around. That's the good thing. You say that. There's a couple of vans over on the well, other side of the Yeah, fence. but they're really not that bad of riffraff, <laughs> though, you know. <laughs> they're still good people. Uh, but, yeah, this this community here, the Schooly Swamp community, is, uh, I've been looking for something like this for years. Uh, all I could find was out in California and all. I didn't move all the way to California. And I found this back in January and joined it in March. And uh, it's been... A good roller coaster ride since, you know, it's been great. Uh, I wish I could afford to live full time and travel all over. I can't, but I'd be able to do like I'm doing. I'd stay at home and make trips, you know, so it works pretty good right now. Yeah. So after this one, you're going to Orlando. That's a business trip, or is that a no, this schooly thing? Schooly thing, United Tiny uh, Living Festival. Orlando, uh, the United Tiny House Association, uh, but then the next one's the uh, Scooby Swarm Scooby Festival in Ocala, Florida. Well, they changed the place, but it's still Ocala. Uh, and then after that, I still don't know yet. I know I'll be going to Georgia in March, but uh, I just have to plan it out, see what comes up. <laughs> So in February, are you going to the Know How Expo too, or just yeah, the Schooly yeah, Swarm? Yeah, both of them, the Know How Expo and then the Schooly Swarm. Uh, and then after that, the Tiny House, Tiny Living Festival in Macon. And then, you know, all the ones that they have. So. Yeah, for folks that don't know, the Schooly Swarm <laughs> is kind of a closed event just for uh, Schooly owners and... You know, we have the vans and box trucks show up too, of course, uh, but it's not really an open to the public thing, whereas the Know How Expo is going to be uh, more of a show where we have the public come in, kind of like the Tiny House Fests. Uh, right. It'll be the first one of those that we've done as part of the Schooly Swarm umbrella, so we're all looking forward to that. So yeah, this looks really good. Uh, I really appreciate you giving us an opportunity to come in and check out your bus. Thank you. All right, thanks, Ricky. All we'll right. see you later. All right.